In order to manage your organization and update the roster, you will go to the right hand side at the switchboard, press manage, and go to your organization portal. Now officers, this is only for you. Um, if you are not an officer, you will not be able to change anything on your organization portal. So for the roster, you'll click this roster tab and you will be met with everyone that is in your organization. Now these are the current people who have accepted um, their invitation and are um, on the roster. If you'd like to invite people, you'll click this invite people button and type in their email address. Now important to note, it must be their campus email or else it will not send it to them. So I want, uh, let's say officer two and then send invitations. And it has been sent. Now, if you send it to the wrong email, I'll show you what that will look like. So once you've sent all your invitations, you can go to pending. And if it looks like um, this, it means that it was not a um, campus email that it was sent to. So they probably will not receive the email um, and they won't get the invitation. If um, it has been sent to the right email, it will show up um, just as their first and last name listed um, and they'll be able to accept that invitation. Now, if this happens, you can go ahead and delete invitation. Now, perspective. This will be if anyone requests to join your organization, um, they will show up here and it'll tell you when they requested it and if um, you have approved that or not um, and you can approve it. Now, if you'd like to update your primary contact, um, say you have changed over exec boards and you have a new president, right here you can select any of your members. You do have to be on the roster in order to be a primary contact. Now, if you need to update any of your officer positions, you will just click this pencil icon and you will choose the officer that you want them to be. So um, if they were just a member before and now they're president, you'll click right there and then press save um, and it'll change it over. And if you um, need to add a position that's not already on here, you can go to manage positions, press add position, and then put um, the position you want, make sure it is officer, and then um, set the access you want. So if you want them to have all the management features so they can manage anything, um, or if you just want them to have a limited thing that they can manage. So let's say you have an events coordinator and you only want them to be able to view and manage the events that your organization submits, you can give them that. Or if you want all of your officers to have access to managing anything in the org, you can just give them all access and they'll, they're will they able to do everything uh, the president is able to do. Then you can create it and then you can select uh, It'll be on your list and you can select the person that you want to have that position.